Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for February 1st, brought to you by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, Roche expects core earnings per share this year to grow broadly in line with sales, which are predicted to rise in the low to mid-single digit range. CEO Severin Schwan said, We are going through a transition. We have a number of mature products which will decline. We will see the impact of biosimilars in Europe, Schwan added, with biosimilar versions of Rituxan and Herceptin possibly launching there later this year. The executive noted that the 2017 forecasts take into account the investment in new products, including cancer immunotherapy to Centric, which is needed to plug the gap. In other news, Health Canada approved Sanofi and Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, Kefsara, for the treatment of adults with moderately to severely active rheumatoid arthritis. The clearance marks the first for the interleukin-6 receptor antibody, with regulatory decisions anticipated in the U.S. and Europe later this year. In addition, Takeda said it would maintain its pricing model in the U.S. in the wake of comments from President Donald Trump calling on drug makers to lower prices. CEO Christoph Weber noted, Takeda has for many years been reasonable in its price increases in the U.S., and we are very committed to single-digit price increase. And finally, BioVerative launched as an independent company following its separation from Biogen. The company is focused on therapies for hemophilia, including Aloctate and Alprolex, which generated combined sales of $888 million in 2016. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 